Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks again for tuning in in advance. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one. Yeah, it's still the same. It's still a tutorial, but this is actually my first get ready with me. Hurrah, there's a first for everything on this channel. But otherwise, I did this for a kind of dinner and movie night that was a little bit, um, you know, more of like an event for me. So um, I tried to do my best in a rush. So I still hope you guys really enjoy the video and like it. And if you end up trying it out, then Instagram or tweet me some pictures. I would love to see them from you. So I'm going to go. Hope you enjoy the video. Going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 245, I am going to blot this and use it all over my face. I am using a stippling motion at first, having dotted it evenly across both cheeks, in the forehead and in my chin, and I'm using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush to do this. I'm really going to buff that foundation into my skin. It is this kind of pinky reddish undertone natural beige colour, so it's perfect for the summertime, but it also is a nice transition colour if you want to wear it in the winter when you've got slightly darker kind of tones to your skin um, especially if you're using like you know a foundation that you want to use throughout the year this is a really nice one to go for. Then grabbing my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer I am gonna go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and really swipe that into the foundation in my upper area of the cheekbone and under the eyes. Um, I've applied this using a kind of upside down triangle motion because I don't want a completely brightening effect. I just want um, some coverage around the under eye area nicely blended into the cheeks. I'm then using my By Terry Ombre Black Star. This is in Misty Rock. It is a beautiful, beautiful kind of dusty plum frosty shade. I'm then going in with my Revlon Flat Shader Brush. This is my absolute favorite to use with all kinds of shadows across the lid. So I'm just swiping that and blending it in. This shadow lasts forever. It doesn't even say that it's waterproof, but it does. It's absolutely fantastic and it's a little bit harder to blend for that reason. But it does get the colour across and it dries really, really quickly. So you've got to be fast when you're using this. Using Last Call from my Urban Decay Ammo Palette, I'm using the Shame Flat Shader Brush and applying that to the outer corners of my eyelids. I'm just packing the colour on just to get the desired amount. And then I'm going ahead and blending with the same brush as well. I'm using a light hand to do this. And I'm going to do it to both eyelids and keep blending until I'm satisfied with how it blends in with the lid colour. You want to make sure you're just focusing on the corners and not doing a completely windshield wiper motion. I'm then getting my Best Beauty eyeshadow palette kit and I'm using the kind of medium beige frosty shade for the inner third of my um, eyelid. And I'm going to make sure that this is an inner corner highlight and it's blending in really really nicely with the lid colour. This is just going to add a slightly highlighted effect, create a slight more kind of woken up look and a little bit dimension on the lids as well. Then using my Real Techniques uh, crease brush, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend this and blend it in and I'm going to make sure that the harsh lines are removed from the outer corner and we get some really nice soft lines going in. Then using Polyester Bride from my Urban Decay Ammo Palette, I'm using the same brush and I'm actually using this as my brow highlight colour and I'm just gently patting that on and really blending it into both brow bones. Using my e.l.f. blush and contour kit, I'm going to grab the contour colour and I'm actually going to swipe that using my Real Techniques blush brush just underneath the cheekbone and on top of the cheekbone area to define and contour my face really, really nicely. I'm going to apply it to the jawline as well just to add a slightly bronzed and slimming look to the face and I'm going to make sure this is done evenly all across my face. I'm going ahead in this pattern adding the blush from the same palette and I'm just going to make sure it blends in really really nicely. The good thing is that it's not too harsh of a blush so you've still got the main focus of the look going to the eyes. I 
Okay, then I'm grabbing one of my new and favorite eyeliners. This is a really, really awesome coal eyeliner by Rimmel. It's the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coal Eyeliner. I'm going to use that and I'm going to swipe it across my upper lash line and I'm going to create a slight flick going outwards. You can do this absolutely any way you like. There's not really much of a science to it. If you want to use just a liquid liner or a gel liner, go for it. I'm just using something that's got a really strong black pigment and swiping that across the upper lash line and extending the flicks only slightly. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This is a really, really nice precision liquid liner if you want to create a very, you know, buildable look. And I'm going to make sure that this is done a more polished way. That's why I'm using the liquid liner to go over the coal and just to polish it up a little bit and um, create a more defined wing. I'm going to then get the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Liner again. This time I'm actually going to go along my um, lower lash line and into my waterline at the same time. Now of course naturally you'd be using a mirror and having both hands free. I always feel like I have to mention this because I don't know if you guys pay attention enough. I'm using one hand to do this and it's so hard using a pencil liner because once the coal goes, like it gets really painful on the waterline. So make sure you're using a mirror and you're pulling your lower lid down so you can apply that liner straight onto the waterline. I'm just doing it this way because I'm filming. And then I'm getting my e.l.f. baked highlighter and blushing pearls. And this is my absolute favorite highlighter to go to for tutorials at the moment. To apply it, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques setting brush. And it's going to create a nice natural highlighted effect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the high points of my cheekbones, down my nose, and the forehead area, and of course on the chin to create a nice illuminating effect. I do think this is very buildable because it is a baked highlighter, but I'm going to keep it subtle this time around. So then I'm going to proceed on with using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. Woohoo! A new introduction to tutorials. And the reason being because I actually quite like it, and I did mention it in last month's favourites, so... Had to mention it, had to include it. So then I am going to go ahead and apply the same mascara to my bottom lashes. When I was applying it to my top lashes, I used a slightly curled motion with my hands just to give it a little bit more length. And this time I'm trying to actually clump the lashes together so they look a little bit thicker and I'm wriggling the wand to get that effect. Then going in with a Jordana lip gloss, that's just sort of a sheer... Um, I would say a pinky beige gloss with like golden glitter and I'm using that and layering it, focusing it on the center of my lower lip and I'm layering that on top of MAC Mocha, which is a really, really gorgeous satin finished orange toned nude. I absolutely love this and of course, like every other tutorial and I actually know in real life, let's not lie, I gotta fix my hair. So then that's me fixing my wee, fix it, fix it. I swear it takes me like 20 minutes like every tutorial to do this. Anyway guys, this is a really, really rushed voiceover because I've got to rush out the door. But I hope you guys liked this look and enjoyed it. Please subscribe to all my social media and chat with me. And like and comment and all that jazz. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Just dropped my lipstick. Great. Fantastic. Oh, it's not. Okay, bye.